We've got a generator providing us with a constant voltage. We have a phase angle of 33 degrees. We know the voltage across the capacitor, and we're trying to find the voltage across the inductor. We'll set this up. It's actually really easy. We're going to set our little phase shift diagram thing here, and we'll remember LIC. Uh, L is going to be this side, voltage of the inductor. The I is right here. That's just the current. And over here, this is the voltage across the capacitor. Now, from here, we want to figure out what that phase angle is. And because it's positive, then we have to go to the right side of the um, of the current here. And this will be some 33 degrees angles in this direction. This is where you're going to find your uh, maximum uh, generator voltage thing. Now, this looks kind of cool and all right over here. One really important thing that we need to figure out is this length. Because this length, when you when you combine this together, now this length right here is called VL minus VC, no matter where you are, left side, right side, or whatever. That is uh, the magnitude of that, at least. And what we need to do is try to figure out what that length is. Now, we can use two ways to figure this out. We can either use this angle here and use the cosine, or we can use, like, this length right here by using the sine. Because, look, uh, if we figure out the sine is the opposite length over this. And so we could set it up like this, like the sine of phi equals this length, x, which is this same length right here, it's the same thing, uh, x divided by the hypotenuse, which is this, that's the maximum. So we'll say sine of 33.1 equals x over 6.04. Push that on the other side. So we're gonna do 6.04 times the sine of 33.1. And so we're going to get 3.3 .3 equals x. So that's that distance right there. And we know VC is going to be positive, And VL is going to be negative. Because, well, it's on that side. I mean, think about it. They're saying that the Vmax on the capacitor is positive. Therefore, this thing has to be somewhere in the positive distance. And therefore, this L must be on the other side. And therefore... Well, we know the L is going to be negative. But regardless, what we could do is set this VL minus VC equals 3.3. .3. And so with that being said, we say VL equals 3.3 .3 plus that, which is going to be 5.18. And we add that up together, 3.3 .3 plus 5.18. Uh, it's 8.48. Remember, VL is actually negative because, uh, well, it's just on that side again so yeah that's the magnitude but we have to make it negative and uh, there we go